My dance never seen before. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm wearing pants. Yes. But I can pose naked. Oh, okay. Time. No, thank you. Number one, football player naked pose. Don't worry, I'm wearing pants. Okay. okay. Number two. Okay, horse racer naked pole. Don't worry, I'm wearing. Okay. Number three. James Bond, make it pull. James Bond, yeah. Come on. Come on. So much. Don't worry, I'm wearing. Ah! Hey! It's genius. Finally, don't stop. Spice Girls. Spice Girls. Wannabe. Wannabe. Naked pose. <laughs> okay, okay. Tony, you might actually be my favorite contestant of the whole series so far. Thank you. Arigato. No, arigato gozaimasu to you. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god. Come on, Tony. <laughs> Bruno, what did oh, you listen, think? Oh, listen, I have to say you definitely have balls. <laughs> Great. What can thank I say? You. <laughs> Nanda, Tony, you are absolutely unique and it felt very Britain's Got Talent. I loved it. Thank you. Simon? Honestly, you are the funniest contestant we've had on all oh, year. Seriously. Funny boy! Really, really funny and original. Thank you. Simon Naked Paul? No, 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 no. no. Simon? No. <laughs> Always keep them waiting, Tony. <laughs> We're going to have to take a vote now, yeah. though. Oh, it's a yes from me. Yes. Amanda? It's a yes from me, Tony. Thank you. Tony Kaku. Tony Kaku. It's a yes from me. Me. Yes. Yeah. Simon? Tony, honestly, you are unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> 
you you are brilliant. Simon, Simon love me. I absolutely love you. Unbelievable. You have four yeses. Welcome to Las Vegas. Is this serious? But now, ladies and gentlemen, right here behind me, we have this <laughs> Vorhersage Tunnel. Oh. Vorhersage Tunnel. And inside this tunnel, there is a fruit. And nobody knows which fruit is inside. We don't. But you will decide. Look. Look, Simon, I have five oh, cards. <laughs> yes. Five cards. I'm watching. Five numbers. Yep. Five different fruits. Yep. Pick one. Anyone. Oh, gosh. Um, number one. You pick one? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let me put this out. Okay, <laughs> Simon. Yes. You could you could pick every, any fruit. Are you ready? You could, you could, Simon could pick any fruit. But Simon says, banana. That doesn't say banana. That doesn't say banana. Oh. It's a, it's a spider. to be a German. How would you guys do it? I don't know. Ich weiß es auch nicht. Warum hast du mir nicht auch eine gegeben? I have another one. It's a present for you. We brought it all the way from Germany. Oh, schön. Yeah, give me that. You catch this one. Yeah. Oh. Look at this. Wow. The strawberry. Thank you. Howie, I love this. This is the year, I think, on our show, where comedy is becoming king. We're magicians. <laughs> you guys are brilliant. This is so creative. This is so much fun. Thank you so much. I mean, I want to be part of your act one day. 
Awesome to you. Thank you. I'm slightly confused because I didn't get it. And I found you to annoy. Well, I'm sorry, but there were quite a few people in the audience who agreed with me. I'll be the second, so it's a yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Simon, I thought it was all a bit stupid. If I'm being honest with you. Lovely to see you again. Nice to see you too. Okay, remind everybody you? of your name. Uh, my name is Gattis Candis. Do you know, this is the only comedian I've ever found funny. <laughs> well, look, Gattis, welcome back. The stage is yours. Good luck. Oh, all of it? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Go on, Candice. So, you know, the, now is uh, after a few cold days, it's getting warm outside. And I like the warm weather because it makes me warmer. Uh, that, that's my warm-up joke. <laughs> <laughs> when my chicken has a birthday, I don't tell him uh, because he would not understand. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, I have another animal joke. Uh, woof, 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 woof. Uh, that, that's a joke you can take home for your dog. <laughs> Simon, ha have you got a dog? Three. Will you tell your dogs my joke? Yeah. I was thinking about that when you said it. Yeah, let, 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 let me hear it. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> mm. <laughs> not, not sure they're gonna understand. Can you try it with my accent? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> oh, th thank you for making me sound so sexy. <laughs> so, does anybody like seeing couples kiss in public? No? No, well, well I do. And... <laughs> And every time I do, I always go up to them and I stare directly at them and usually they stop. And then, then they ask me, do you mind? And I'm like, I don't mind. <laughs> then my uh, name is Gattis Candis. And in case you want to follow me, uh, this is what I look like from behind. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Gattis. Alicia. Do you know, I absolutely love you. <laughs> Thank you. Your jokes are just ridiculous. And I like how you deliver them, which is just yeah. like you've accidentally found the stage. <laughs> you are actually, like I said, the only comedian that's really ever made me laugh. Your jokes are so stupid, I find that funny. Thank you. Gassis, you are a real original. And anyone who doesn't get it is thick. <laughs> you know what? You're kind of sexy as well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We're going to vote. Simon. I'm going to say yes. It's yes from me. It's a yes from me. Four yeses, Gattis. Well done. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, and what's your name? My name is Mr. Pants. Mr. Pant, I, I don't know how to say it, but your fly is open and something is poking out. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> is that your real name? Yes. What, Mr. Pants? Mr. Pants, can we get a Q-tip for Simon over here? It's Mr. Pants. <laughs> okay, Mr. Pants, tell me where you're from. Brooklyn, New York. What is your day job? Well, I used to go to the office every day, but uh, since the pandemic, I've been virtually replaced by sweatpants. Okay. Okay. You're a comedian? Sir, yes, sir. I'm here to dazzle you in my stand-up comedy routine. So what's the dream, Mr. Pants? Vegas, baby. Okay, I'm not going to ask any more questions. Complete waste of time. Good luck. Thank you. I'll be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Pants. Please, Terry, my father was Mr. Pants. Look, I'm gonna make this brief. I only got one day left on my return policy. I inherited my father's genes. He immigrated here from a banana republic. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father. But I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> hey, guys, I'd love to tell you more jokes, but unfortunately, I left them in my other pants. <laughs> Thank you so much. You've been a lovely crowd of people. Hello. Hello. You look quite scary. Okay, so, so, sir, what is your name, please? I'm Leoz. Where are you from originally? Israel. What is it that you're doing today? I'm a mentalist. You're a mentalist? I can read people's minds. My power is mind reading, telepathy, and I can see the future. I don't do magic. I'm the only one in the world with these abilities. The British audience are gonna see something that they never seen before. They're gonna be amazed. Good luck. Thank you. I've seen this guy before in America. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Why are you not doing it? Good evening. Only you. Is it you not doing it? I did it. Yes, you did it. Huh? I said it. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Sorry. I need a volunteer. You, come up on stage. What's your name? Amanda. Amanda? Yes. Say the truth. Is that you? Yes. <laughs> Here I have two boxes. I want you to choose one of the boxes. <laughs> now, turn around, back to back. <laughs> I want you to open the box. Inside, you will find plastic bags with different colors. Mm -hmm. I want you to think at one of the colors and take it out. Now put the blocks on the floor. Open the plastic bag with two ends and think on the color. Now I want you to count to ten slowly and both of us will turn to the audience at the same time. Mm -hmm. Start counting. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. Well, wait, start from the beginning. <laughs> what? 
two, three. Slowly. Uh, one, two. Yeah, now it's good. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Thank you. It's a souvenir. Thank you. But wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh! No, I took something from you. You didn't even notice. Trey Good, what did I take from you? What? I took something from you. You're missing something. Here is your watch! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's good. And you! I took something from you too. Good, what did I take from you? Here is your wall! <laughs> and you? No, your wallet! <laughs> What's inside? Your walls! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Oh, he's brilliant! <laughs> oh. It had heard from laughing. David, what did you think? Well, I think you're an absolute comedy genius. It was brilliant. It's not comedy. <laughs> well, then I think you're screwed, because you're the world's worst mentalist. It was genius. It was just brilliant. You had us in the palm of your hands, and you have an incredible presence about you. And it was hilariously funny. Oh, it's mad. <laughs> I think the act is very, very funny, and I would love to see you go a long way. I now understand that this guy is a genius. So I have to start this with a yes. Thank you. It's a yes for me. It's a yes for me. Four yeses. Thank you all. I love you, Britain. Thank you. What's up? Yeah! 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 Thank you. I had this James Brown shirt, I had to do some dances. I had to do it. Uh, so glad to be here. If you recognize, you might recognize me off of season 12 of America's Got Talent. Yeah! All right. <laughs> Who voted for me, though? Who voted for me? What, yeah? Yeah! All right, all right, yeah! Not enough times! <laughs> because I lost to a 12-year-old ventriloquist, y'all. <laughs> she didn't open her mouth the whole time. <laughs> you will never know what it feels like to lose a million dollars to somebody that still has chores. You'll never know that feeling. <laughs> She believe in cooties now. Man, I can't stand Darcy. I don't know why. Darcy's an angel. So is the devil, okay? <laughs> she beat me. She's already a kid. She won, all right? When you're a kid, nap time is a punishment, all right? Could you imagine going into work late and your boss is like, uh, you're late for work, go to bed. You'd be like, for real? Because that's actually why I was late. I was in bed. You want me to, want me to go back? Nap time's a punishment. You, you kidding? You nap time? All right, there's no bills. You win a million dollars. You know, it's just great being a kid, all right? When I, when I was a kid, my mom was strict, though. She was a little strict, all right? Real strict. We couldn't, we couldn't celebrate Halloween because it was the devil's birthday. You know, we uh, <laughs> couldn't watch Batman, right? My mom used to wash our mouth out with soap for saying cuss words in the house, all right? You know cuss words like shut up, dang it, you know. <laughs> Not even cuss words. Let me say a cuss word. I wish I would say a cuss word, all right? I got three siblings, used to be four. I am not crazy, all right? That's an automatic beat down in my house. You, you don't have to be related to my mom to get whooped for cussing in the house, right? My best friend growing up, his name is Red, like the color. His name used to be Fred. He cussed in front of my mom. She beat the F out of him. And then... <laughs> I replaced a little. My name is Preacher Lawson. Thank you so much. I love y'all. I miss y'all. I'm hugging all of you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh man! Oh, you dropped your ball.
were not expecting that. <laughs> Howie, you loved that, didn't you? Yes, I just loved it. I mean, what you guys do is just tremendous. Is this like a famous Israel uh, show? Like, they people love this? Not yet. <laughs> I feel like you need smaller rackets. You know, like the ones for table tennis. We got a lot more to show. I kind of feel like it is my favorite act of today. What? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. When did you decide this was what you just want to do? <laughs> One time I was late to the rehearsal. Yes. And these two already created the, the act without me. Right. They just told me, hey, we have a nude act. Yes. And you're part of it and you're first on stage. <laughs> well, we have to vote. Howie. Yes. Yeah. Heidi. It's a yes from me. Yeah. Sophia. Yes. Yeah. You have got... Four yeses. Yeah! I like even the way they high five. Thank you. Thank Shalom. you. Let's start with hello. Hello, I am uh, Viggo, I'm from uh, Norway, but I, I live in the UK now. Good. Norway is very boring. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your last name? Uh, Ven, yeah, like the diagram. You know? Ven diagram, that's right. Viggo, why are you here? I, I'm here because uh, I want to become a British comedian. Okay, right, no more questions. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> One more time. Simon's face is like this. <laughs> Look at Simon's face. <laughs> In Norway, that means you're doing really good. <laughs> Oh. Is there any more? Is there any more? Come on, please. Honestly? Right. 
Okay. Any more? You want more? No. <laughs> no. to such a level that was just, it was killing me. Oh, I thought you were going to do stand-up comedy. Yeah, but it's a bit difficult with the language for me. <laughs> No idea what's going on right now, but it was really annoying. It was stupid. None of it was very good. Let's just go to the yes and no bit. Bruno. Is a yes for me? Oh, definitely yes. Look, you know what? Um, I like the music, but it is what it is. Which is... <laughs> the most stupid act we've had this year. <laughs> This feels very much Britain's Got talent -y. So I'm going to say yes, we've got through to the next round. Where are you from? My name is Scott Hireman, and I'm from. Oh my gosh, I don't even know them. Uh, my name is Scott Hireman, and I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. What are you going to be doing for us today? I'm going to be doing comedy. Do you always dress up when you do your comedy? Um, usually I just dress up if I'm like at home cooking or cleaning. But are you making a living with comedy? No, I'm a pizza delivery boy. <laughs> <laughs> and when you deliver pizza, do you do you dress like this? No, you do, I'm no? delivering pizza in like 12 inches of snow in Kentucky, but I, keep, I have the pink eyebrow always, so I deliver pizza with a little bit of something, but not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you single? Because Nick's newly single. I think we should go on a date. Look at his shoes, they're sparkly as mine, look. <laughs> well, I already like you. Um, you know what? Go for it, I can't wait. Okay. Well, hello, everybody. So a little bit about me, I'm adopted, which basically means my original family said no thank you. <laughs> my sister's actually adopted too. Uh, my mom can't have kids because she's emotionally unavailable for committed relationships. <laughs> my sister growing up was the golden child. Like when she graduated high school, my parents threw her a huge party and I got nothing when I dropped out. They're always like, Scott, why can't you be more like your sister? I'm like, how's this? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh my Funny. gosh, that's horrifying. But actually, I haven't always looked like this. True story starring me, I used to be 300 pounds. No. Can you believe it? Yes, Mel B, yes! Heidi, can you believe it? I don't believe you. I miss being fat. You know, I miss being able to wear a t-shirt and sweatpants to formal events and people being totally fine with that, you know? <laughs> and okay, you know who I was really jealous of growing up? Besides skinny people and kids whose parents kept them. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone applauding, yay, I was rejected too. The Girl Scouts. 
I was in the Boy Scouts. My mom signed me up for Boy Scouts. But while the Girl Scouts were sipping soda over at the Holiday Inn Express watching the Little Mermaid for their Marine Time Under the Sea Fun Time badge, I was in the middle of Bucktooth, Kentucky, trying to survive off testosterone and trail mix. <laughs> Talking about, all right, boys, we brought you out here to teach you survival skills. <laughs> Oh, really? Why don't you teach me how to do my taxes? Why don't you teach me how to deal with the breakup tax? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh. Look at that. That's for me. For you. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Oh. Listen, well, I am so nervous right now. I've been well, in these spanks for like I, eight hours, so tell me, Melby, tell I me. I don't think there's any, there's no reason for you to be nervous. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And keep being fabulous, that's all I can Thank say. Thank you. I'd love to go see him in a club or, or I would. I would uh, you're great. Is that a date, Howie? <laughs> <laughs> Stop flirting with me, I'm married. <laughs> I thought that you were so funny and so fabulous. You better work. It's the first time that I truly love, love, love a comedian on this stage, and that is wow. you. Wow, that's big from Heidi. Howard. Howard God, Stern. I think you're fabulous. I think you're one of a kind. You're the full package of, pardon the expression. Okay, well, let's, let's vote. Yes! That's your vote? Yes. Okay. How can I be any clearer than that? He said yes! That. <laughs> Hi, they. Definite yes. I can't wait to see what you're wearing next. Howard. Scott, don't ever shave. Love it. Yes. That is a big Girl. yes from me. Hello. Thank you so much. Here come the No more cheese sticks, America. I'm dead to look at the pizza. I don't... Hi. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. What is your name? I'm Jonathan Burns. And where are you from? I live in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I saw how you arrived. Uh, you're, <laughs> are you considered carry-on? <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is cheaper that way, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's the dream for you? To do this and uh, to travel around and, and uh, crawl out of luggage. <laughs> Okay, so do you believe this is worth a million dollars? I would say so. I would, I, yeah, I'd love it. All right, well, I cannot wait to see it. Best of luck, young man. Uh, okay.
know what exactly just happened, but I think we all want to see more. That was like Napoleon Dynamite, but bendy. Like, <laughs> what? I want to just know how you discovered this talent. I was a weird kid. <laughs> You know what? Even before you did anything, just your that smile, that smile. Yeah. Let's vote. I'm gonna say yes. That's two yeses. Yes, 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 yes. You know what's coming? Four yeses. <laughs> He hasn't even said a word. Josh Blue. Feel the love, buddy. Hello. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you, man. I missed you guys. Josh, you're a comedian and you were in the top three, right? Yes, I got third place. You got third place on AGT. What's going through your mind that makes you want to come back to AGT All Stars? I wanted to come back to the scene of the crime. Yes. <laughs> because I was robbed. Oh, snap! <laughs> After AGT, was there a difference in your career, in your life? Well, actually, I started a business. Of broccoli t-shirts? No, I've been making these. Ah. <laughs> I figure I'm disabled, I could just make them, right? <laughs> now, this one's for you, Simon. Oh! For your next bike ride, right? You're very naughty. Thank you so much. Please sit down, I have a limited time here. Look, I'm a father, and uh, I love being a dad. Uh, yeah. But does anybody else think it's weird that you can accidentally make a person? I can't even on purpose make a birdhouse. <laughs> I've accidentally made two people. <laughs> I can't make a birdhouse. My kids are big now. Well, I love babies, that was my favorite. I did make people nervous, so I got people running up to me, hey, did anybody tell you not to shake a baby? I'm like, well, I'm just holding them. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't tell me how to raise my kids, all right? <laughs> you guys know about baby-proofing your house? Yeah. Yeah. You know how you have a gate at the bottom of the stairs? Did you know that you also need one at the top? <laughs> yeah, if you don't have that one at the top, the one at the bottom just acts as a strainer. <laughs> But because we had a gate at the bottom and a gate at the top, we used to just keep the kids on the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. yeah, just raising little mountain goats. <laughs> we live in Denver, I'd take them up to the Rockies and they'd just scamper up the side. <laughs> so majestic. One of my favorite things about uh, when they were babies, I like taking the kids out in the stroller. It's an activity I, I could do, you know. I had one of those double wides and I just push them around the neighborhood. But the thing is, when you see me coming down the street pushing a stroller, when you look in there, you're expecting to see like a bucket of doorknobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look on people's faces when they see little mountain goats. <laughs> oh my God, that homeless guy got some goats. <laughs> hey, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, thank you. You know, a comedian is supposed to make everyone laugh, and you get the laughs. And I love you because you have such sweet nature. Brand Thank you. you. Yeah. What's not to love about you? 
Simon. Uh, Josh, I mean, what can I say? I mean, look, the audience reaction says it all, doesn't it? I mean, if yeah. they're not laughing, you're you're terrible. If they're <laughs> laughing, you're great. So you're great. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. We don't have a golden buzzer, but I think the super fans are going to put you through to the final yeah. after that. I really do. <laughs> Josh. Now more than ever, I think I've said this before, you know, they, it's not my saying, it's an old saying, it's uh, laughter is the best medicine. Yeah. I think you are the cure, you are the medicine, you gave us what we need more than anything else. Well, it's up to the super fans now. You're amazing. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Is he here by accident? Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name is Matt Edwards. Hi, Matt. Hello. Where are you from? Where are you from, Matt? I'm from uh, Suffolk. Suffolk? Great. Yes. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. Do you have a day job? Um, I... So <laughs> Do I look young? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm a magician, is what I do for my oh. day job. Lovely. So tell us something about you that makes you different from other magicians that we may have seen on the show. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think the, what makes me different from other magicians is um, the type of magic I perform isn't necessarily sleight of hand. It's a little bit uh, crazy, a little bit variety, I would say. Mm. Hmm. It's like the sound of that. All right, well, we look forward to your act. Good luck. So I do it now? Yeah. It's lovely to meet you all. Uh, my name is Matt. What's your name? Brilliant, that's enough. Now, I've only got like a minute to show you what I can do. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to perform a trick. Uh, but before I do my trick, I'm going to propose a toast. I want to say cheers to everybody. Um, so, when I say cheers, everybody in the audience shouts... Cheers! Perfect, amazing. Now, uh, because uh, I've only got a minute, I'm going to give this a big build-up in the hope that everyone claps really loudly and then all the ladies take off their bras and throw them in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, you, Alicia. <laughs> Worth a try. So, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Señores y señores, bienvenidos a la Britain's Got Talent de su noche sin papá la tequila. <laughs> Rachel, I'm amazing. Pa 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 I do. Yeah. What's this? Might as well. I forgot the salt. Gotta have salt. Oh. Tequila. I forgot the salt. I'm fine, I'm fine.
<laughs> David. David. Well, what a brilliant way to present a magic trick. It's good. I love when people push jokes as far as they possibly can go until they almost break. It was very funny, very entertaining. It was brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Amanda? Yeah, I mean, I really loved it. It was sort of silly how Tommy Cooper used to do it. You know, you're so distracted by you clowning and messing about that we're not paying attention to what you're actually doing, so therefore it's even more magical. I really love you. I think you're charming, I think you're funny, and you're kind of old school with a twist which is absolutely perfect for Britain's Got Talent. Well done. Simon? I've got to be honest with you, Matthew. You know, when you started with that voice, I thought this is going to be really annoying. But actually, you are brilliant. I mean, really, really funny. And how old are you, 34, did you say? 34. Okay, I'm surprised you haven't had a break yet, Matthew, because you're really likeable and nuts. Um, you've just got something about you, it's your energy. This is what we look for on these shows, people who've got star quality. I've just got a feeling about you. Thank you so much. Good to know. It's good. Really good. I agree, Matthew. Love your passion and enthusiasm. Right, we're going to take a vote. David. Oh, they've got the vote. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, we were laughing so much, I thought I was going to pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. No, but well I, deserved. Honestly, we loved the act, and then Simon, you said it. He's 34 years old, and for some reason, he hasn't been given the break up yeah. until now. And so we just wanted to be, be there and do it. Honestly, well done. Well done. Funny. Really good. Really good. Really good. Love it. Yes! Oh. That's a good one. Yeah! He picked a good one! I like him. I've got to tell you, Matt. They were absolutely on the money. This is what it's all about. Dreams come true. Good for you. He deserves it, man. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. Oh my Honestly, God. that was oh just. Oh I haven't seen wow. energy in a routine like that for years. Please tell us you've got those moments in your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the song, I've got so much that I'm ready to show the world. Brilliant. Good. Thank you so much for the opportunity you're to welcome, show man. you. You're welcome, Well, you're live straight through the semi-finals. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to America's Got Talent. What is the name of your act? Yumbo oh, Damp. Uh, Yumbo. Yumbo Damp. OK. You know what? Good luck. Yeah. yeah. Do it. Yeah. 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 Maybe OK. So do we. Sound of a drop of water falling on the surface of water. You have to get the right angle.
Sometimes are you sitting alone at home on the couch with your belly button going, what, what do I use this for? What is this for? I'm going to go home and I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that with a stranger. I love what they're doing. I really liked it. Okay, Simon. There was a point halfway through where I'm thinking if you're just tuning in now, you're going to be going, what the hell am I watching? But you know what? This is one of the funniest things and the most stupid things oh, I've seen on this show. Yeah, yeah. And you two are hilarious. Oh, happy. 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 I think I was watching a completely different show. Let's vote. Let me start. Please, I want to give you your first yes. I think we all need to laugh more in our lives, so I'm going to give you a yes. Well, well, I didn't laugh and I didn't really get it, so I have to say no. Yeah. Exactly why? 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 Exactly why? Howie? I am so honored to give you your third. Three yeses. Hi. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. How are you feeling today? I'm okay. Okay. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Oliver Graves, and I'm from Santa Rosa, California. How old are you? I'm 32. And what are you going to be doing for us? I am a stand-up comedian. Is that what you do? Yeah. Are you in a relationship or married? Um, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm single. I'm thinking this guy's perfect for you. Why? I think we should just let Oliver do what he's going to do. Okay, go for it. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, not if you're poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> then the antidote becomes the most important meal. <laughs> I'm trying to find the woman of my dreams, but it's a struggle because I'm an insomniac. <laughs> I tried online dating, and there'd be people that would say, must love dogs. I didn't understand why. Like, I want to love a person. <laughs> but it all made sense once I looked at the faces of the people that were saying that. <laughs> Dating's really hard for me, like, compatibility-wise. Like, like, I'm a Virgo, so that means... Yeah. 
that means I'm only compatible with people that are really naive and believe in horoscopes. <laughs> I traded in my car to get my interest rates lowered. It worked. Women are less interested in me. I once had my identity stolen. It's okay, they gave it right back. Thank you. different, you're humble and real and dark is everything that I absolutely love. So good. From the moment you walked out, your visual, your, your, and your cadence and everything, and you're smart and you're bright. I think he didn't get the reaction you expected. So you're not used to this, are you? No. Is that, is that why you're crying? I, I don't get booked on a lot of shows. Oh. You know, that's you, you know, enjoy your free time right now because you are going to be a busy man. Well, Oliver, uh, we have had a lot of stand-up comedians this year. Now, when I look back and I try and remember them all, they all blur into one type apart from you. You're interested. I'm gonna kick this off with your first yes, brother. Thank you. I'm giving you your second yes. Heidi. Third yes from me. You've got four yeses, congratulations. Welcome to America's Got Talent. What's your name? Uh, my name is Andy. Now, what do you do for a living, Andy? I'm a, a box office attendant at a theater. Oh. So what, what are you going to do for us tonight? I'm going to be doing some karaoke singing for you. Oh. Okay. Go for it, Andy. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Tequila. Tequila. 
I'd like to hear the whole album, actually. <laughs> it was so stupid, I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> Julianne. I have props to you because I feel like it's actually hard to be doing that to get that kind of reaction. So, so I actually think it's brilliant. Well done. Gabrielle. It's so wrong, it's right. I want to see where the next song is. Howie. Song choice is always important on this one. And not only the song choice, but your exuberance and your excitement. I love you. Okay. How are you so nice? Yes, I want to see more. Gabrielle? Yes. Julianne? Yes. I can't believe I'm saying this. Yes. Oh, I know. I was just this way, honey. It's okay, you did it. Andy! Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Georgie. Georgie Carroll. Where are you from, Georgie? I'm Australian now, but initially Rochdale, hence, Got it. hence the move. I like Rochdale. Have you been? <laughs> so you live in Australia now? Yeah. OK, and then now you come back here to do Britain's Got Talent? Yeah. It's a long trip. Yeah. <laughs> What's your day job? So I'm a nurse. I've been a registered nurse since 2000. <laughs> but I love to make people laugh. I've got it. I've got it. OK. Three minutes. Yours, Georgie. Good luck. Uh, yeah, so I've got teenage boys. They do swear a lot. They are prone to oh, kicking off. <laughs> a bit like having Gordon Ramsay trapped in a child's body. Uh, but it's my favourite category of human. What I like about them is the way that their self-esteem far outweighs their skill set. <laughs> my boys heckle Sir David Attenborough when they're watching Blue Planet. <laughs> Can't do that. Sir David invented animals. <laughs> I wish I believed in myself that much. I really do. <laughs> I've worked out a foolproof way of lecturing a teenager. You've got to trap it somewhere where it can't escape, but it feels safe. <laughs> the car wash. <laughs> it's perfect. Took mine through the car wash for a bit of counselling. Just something about hygiene. He goes, oh, let me get through puberty, will you? I said, what do you think comes after puberty? And he says, adultery. <laughs> I said, you know, statistically, you're correct there. He wasn't listening anyway. We had three minutes left on the car wash, so I just put the window down. <laughs> he got a wash. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, thanks. Very good. That's the thing about a comedian. You can't fake it. If you're funny, people laugh. If you're not, nothing happens. Yep. Simple as that. Thank you. Rock on. I absolutely loved it. And I will never go on a car wash again. <laughs> Georgie, I was roaring. When it ended, Alicia and I were like, oh, my God, no, 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 we want more now. I really, really loved it. I'm saying yes. Of course it's a yes. Thank you. It's a yes from me. That means you got four yeses, Georgie. <laughs> Hi, what's your name, please? My name's Lorraine Bowen. Great. Um, do you have a normal job, Lorraine? I do teach the piano to 12 students. Obviously, you're singing for us. Are you singing one of your own songs? Yes, it's called The Crumble Song. The Crumble? Yeah, Crumble, yeah, as in Apple. Sunday afternoon pudding, yeah. <laughs> and, and Lorraine, can I ask you a question? Who are you here with? I'm here with just me, Cassio Organ. It's just. That's it. <laughs> okay, good luck. Hooray, let's go. Woo! 
Everybody's good at cooking something. Some cooking crumble. In fact, I've got one in the oven. Would you like some? It's a bit of custard, a bit of cream. It reminds you of your best dream. Anything you want, if it's anything you like. But if you don't tell me Off on my bike, off on my bike, off on my bike, off on my bike. Everybody's good at cooking something, and I'm good at cooking crumble. In fact, I've got one in the oven. Would you like some? Well, would you like some, eh? Yeah, I'd like some. Hey, let's just get this party really going now. My finger wings are out there. I'll tell you what. Let's do a mashup. Look, I've got my DJ headphones. You get it? Flashing lights, come on! Flashing lights! A one, two, three, four! Everybody's good at cooking something. The dark good at cooking from home. Everybody's good at cooking something. Semi-finals. Oh my God! Hey, you're pleased for me. No, go and sit you're down. jealous because you think I found the winner. <laughs> How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm very well. I'm fine. I'm in. How can I not be fine? I'm in the America Got Talent. Oh my God! What is your name? My name is Josh Alfred. Where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. Woo! How old are you? I'm 32 years old. And what is your talent, Josh? Okay, um, I do something very different, something you've never seen. I'm a speed reader. Oh. A speed reader? Yeah. That is something very different. Yeah. In a twinkle of an eye, I can read so many pages. Do you think you can win a million dollars? When I was living in Nigeria, I told them that I was not going to leave the United States if I don't win. What would you do with a million dollars? Uh, I will buy books. A million dollars worth of books? Yeah. OK, Josh, good luck tonight. We're so happy that you made it all the way from Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. Why is reading a talent? I don't know. So I'm going to be reading three books within a minute, I'll finish it up. Shall we begin? Yes.
Now what? You want me to explain? You can ask me questions about the book. No, you want to ask him any question. What's the ending of Romeo and Juliet? I, I guess they died or something. I don't know. <laughs> Simon, what did you think? Pointless. But I read those books. I, I, I mean, I have witnesses. I want to know how is this an act? Like, okay, you read this and now what? And it's been read. <laughs> I think we need to stop this thing. I'm going to give you a no, first no. Howie, yes, no, what? Read my lips. No. Heidi. Oh, it's a no. Simon. Um. No. I, I, I think I think you're you're making a mistake. We are okay making a mistake. Thank you very much. I won't take a no though. Aww. I won't take it. What the heck is it? That was the most ridiculous was thing that? I ever saw. Josh, Josh, come here, man. First of all, they can't prove you didn't read those books. They didn't read it. You see what I mean? They don't understand genius. I think they made a mistake. I just keep coming back till they realize. All right, thank you so much. Good evening. Good evening. We know him. What is your name? My name is Jay Osh. I'm, I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria. From Nigeria. He snuck back in. All right. What do you do? I'm the fastest rapper in the world. All right. Well, good luck. I hope this works out. Yeah. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it, has this man F it's me do with him and when they just move for like when she's this with them and let me pick it with the bustle over the window, some with the wind bus with the fellow. What's like I said that all I know? Ever since my face is pick it there. Was that the whole was that the whole thing? I was I was getting to the best part. I was I was about to kill it. Why didn't you keep going? Keep it going, go, JS, go! Hand me, hand me, send me a Get the rhythm in the with 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 the We finished? I was getting, I was about to hit Get the best parts. Simon, what do you think? Well, I, I didn't really understand anything of it, if I'm being honest with you. I, it was because it was fast. <laughs> <laughs> you were not saying but, anything. But I believe that people that understand fast rap, they will slow it down in their minds and they will get it. Maybe you need to work on your singing and come back to AGT another time. But it's gonna have to be a no for me. It's a no, I'm sorry. That was, no. I'm afraid it's a no, sorry. I, I think that's, that's a mistake, so you guys are making a mistake. Actually, no, I've changed my mind this year. No, I'm kidding, it's a, no. How did he Why did he come back? What do you do? You just get back in line and you try to I again? don't know what happened. I mean, really. He came back in again. No way. No way. He's back. He's back. What is, what is, what is your name? <laughs> My name is Terrifying J. No. It's the same guy. He keeps coming back. Wait a minute. And uh, what do you, what do you do? I do magic. All right, you know what? Just show us your magic, young man. Okay, so first of all, we have to agree that all the cards here are different. Yes. So yeah, they're different. We have 10 of hearts, we have clubs, we have spades, we have diamond. Let him do his act. Howie. What? I want to connect some part of your life to this card. Okay. What's your birth month? November. That should be 11, right? How would you feel if I pick your exact birth month? How do you pick an 11? Well, that would be amazing. Good. <laughs> that would be really amazing. Ay, Dios mío. 
All right, just say stop where you want me to stop, please. I, I, I wanted you to stop before I pressed the X. All right, let's go, let's do this. I didn't say stop. What is that? That's 10. Yes. 10 plus one. Is 11. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. I, I want to call. Terry, please come. Come, Terry. I'm gonna control Terry's mind. Terry, did we talk backstage? Did we rehearse this? No, we didn't. All right, I'm gonna control you now. Okay. Terry, please raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Raise this hand up. Can you please wave? Can you please smile? Can you please frown? I control his mind. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Sophia, what did you think? You're funny, but it's like really not for AGT. So again, no. You're very likable, but you just didn't get it. Seriously, I've now got it. I think you are hilarious. I really, really like you. You're really funny. So I'll make this really quick. You got four yeses. Well no, done. No, no, yes, no. No. Yeah. Honestly, you're funny now, but it, it's a no. I am sorry. I, I can rap. I can, I can, I can, I can do the rap. No, you don't need to rap. You don't need to rap. Here's the best of the is when it's hit the facade. And it's the best of the it's the best of the fall. And this is the best of the street, the best of the rap. And it's the best of the street, the best of the rap. And it's the best of the street, the best of the rap. And it's the best of the street, the best of the rap. And it's the best of the street, the best of the rap. Uh, do you have a second song? Yes. Take the number of the way. Take it the way. the way. Take the way. the way. Take the the way. the way. the way. the way. the way. the the way. the way. the way. the way. the the way. 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 the we will be glad to give you answers, only after you can ask the question according to the answer. Okay, well, let's start with your name, please. We are the Demented Brothers. And where are you from? We are going to do... magic. Okay, what would it mean to you to win? What would you do with a million dollars? Yes. <laughs> okay. What's your ultimate dream? It's, this is really important, this question. Thank you for your questions. <laughs> now it's showtime. You will love it, Simon. <laughs> okay.
it's not? <laughs> it didn't work. I'm so confused. I've got to be honest with you, I haven't got a clue what just happened there. Magic. <laughs> I got lost. Why are you going? He put it in one ear, it went through his whole head, and it came out the other side. Well, I missed that. I mean, I've seen a lot of magic, and this is by far the best magic I have ever seen. Thank you. So little out of so little. <laughs> So let's vote, Simon. For me, it wasn't good enough, so I have to say no. Really? I loved it. I'm giving you a yes. Heidi? What you did was so weird that I kind of want to see what you do next, so I'm going to give you a yes. You have two yeses. You need three to move on. Sophia, it's up to you. Their future is in your hands. They win! I'm gonna say yeah! Hello. What's your name, please? Jobo. Okay, where are you from, Jobo? Nottingham. Okay, and do you have like a day job, Jobo? I'm a physiotherapist. Is this something you see winning the show and going on to bigger things? Yes, I'm looking forward to the, the Royal Variety Show. OK, good. OK, well, look, I'm guessing it's involving that, so good luck. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, um, could we have a little chat before you start playing? W what? Could we have a little chat before you start playing? Uh, can I just get your, can I just get your name? <laughs> but I don't, I don't, uh, yeah. Sorry, what's your name? <laughs> yeah. No, it's it is enjoyable, we'll come to that. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? What's, What's your, your name? name? What's your name? <laughs> yeah, one moment. What's your name? What's your name? What's, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? The seaweed is all. What's, what's your name? name? What's your name? <laughs> you 
dream about going out there That chance to make a stay Just look at the rooms around you Right here on the ocean floor Say what the fuck things around you What more is I looking for? Under the sea Under the sea Don't let it spend the dark And I'm taking from me Simon Cowell hates it I'm gonna show the world full day All the time to slay away Why would you pull it? Don't tell the blow that Under the sea Oh, he's off the way. Sorry, what's your, what's your name? <laughs> Wait, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Vitaly. 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 And how, how, sorry, how old are you, Vitaly? <laughs> how old are you? 25. 25, and whereabouts are you from? Whereabouts are you from? Whereabouts are you from? Yeah. So what are you going to do for us tonight? <laughs> uh, Why play. are we doing everything backwards? Because we didn't get a chance to do the chat I play before the, the We act. know what he's going to do. We're going to start pressing those buttons again and... I have um, the second uh, no, costume. No, 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 no. <laughs> Michael Jackson. He's off again. Skin hurt, dead hurt, everybody gonna hurt. Situation, aggravation, everybody, allegation. In the suit, all the news, everybody, dog food, black bag, shock bag, everybody gonna hurt. All I wanna say is that the real care about us. All I wanna say is that the real care about us. Brilliant! Ah. Thank you very much. Give me the headlines of your life so we know a little bit more about you before we start. Sure. So, uh, obviously, I have a uh, disability. Um, I think the technical term for it is being very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you like to be? Do you want to see yourself as a Turing Act, TV, or Vegas? When I was growing up, there was nobody that looked like me on television, so I kind of want to be the first one that's doing all that. I want people to be able to look at what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, well, good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So I love being a stand-up comedian. This is what I always wanted to do. Uh, I have had other jobs in the past, though. Uh, I used to juggle chainsaws. <laughs> it went well for a while. Uh, I had to get out, couldn't take the politics, is what it was. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to be was a pro wrestler. Um, that's the absolute truth. Uh, I had a name picked out and everything. I was going to be the cripple threat. <laughs> okay. That was... Well, that was clever. But people will ask me dumb questions all the time. I'll get this one a lot. They'll be like, hey, Ryan, is that genetic? <laughs> yes. Uh, because you see, my mom was Irish, and my dad was a lobster. <laughs> Kids are the worst, though. Oh, kids are the absolute worst, though, because kids don't have that filter. You know, if a kid says you're ugly, you're ugly. All right, deal with it. <laughs> Buy a hat. I don't know what to tell you. I had this eight-year-old girl recently uh, come up to me, and if you're ever feeling pretty good about yourself, let an eight-year-old girl verbally kick you in the nuts. That'll fix that for you. <laughs> uh, but this little girl, after she saw me, and after she screamed, after screamed, it was a big scream, uh, which, side note, has led me to a new game that I play, uh, now when I'm out in public and I see a child staring at my arms, I like to pretend that I'm discovering them for the first time, too. <laughs> I'm like, what are you? Oh, my God! What happened? <laughs> and that's why I'm not allowed at Toys R Us anymore, so... I'm Ryan Nemo, you guys. Thank you so much. I 
think you are amazing. I, I'm just curious, why have you not had the break you're looking for yet? I think part of it is having a disability like this, it's really hard to kind of break through without people thinking you're a novelty act. Uh, I've had the booker tell me, ah, oh, well, I don't think this is what we like. This isn't what the people want here. So. He's the one with the disability, not you, trust me. Yeah, that's why you're yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You are brilliant. You are real. You are authentic. You are funny. You are a star. There is not a room that you should not be allowed to play in, and I believe that you should be in the finals here. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. You're freaking funny and I just want more. I want to know your next tour date. I'm gonna be your roadie. You're brilliant. Thank you. I mean, literally everything about you just screams, I am awesome, I am funny, I am the real deal. Hit him with a dad. Howie, yes or no? Yes. Two yeses. <laughs> you got three yeses. Thank you. Uh, I actually know how many people are in this theatre, so you have 4,104 yeses. <laughs> Young man, thank you. Thank you're, you very much. You're welcome. What's your name? Marty Ross. And where are you from? Santa Clarita, California. Okay. What do you do for a living? What did I do? Okay. I was a salesman in the clothing industry for almost 50 years. And what is it that you're going to do? Stand-up comedy. Yeah. Is this something you always wanted to do and then, yeah. Why didn't you start earlier? Uh, here's the thing, I didn't know I could do this. I didn't, know I, I didn't know I can stand in front of these many people and do what I do. Yeah. Are you married? I have three ex-wives. That's a routine. Yeah, right. So that means I need a million dollars like as soon as possible. <laughs> um, what would winning mean to you? Are you kidding me? First of all, winning at any age is incredible. Yeah, and you your know, age is? How old are you? 80. What? You're 80? I'm 80. Oh my God. Wow. 80. Uh, it would mean everything to me because just the dream to be able to do this show with so many talented people is, yeah. is incredible. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. So dazzle us with your humor, and uh, I hope we all get to witness your dream come true. Thank you very much. Here we go. So I turned 80 a few months ago, and people are saying the weirdest things to me, like, oh, you're 80? You're almost dead. Are you afraid? I'm like, no, I'm not afraid. My mother made it to 101. And if you want to know the family secret, we don't die. No, we keep shrinking till we just disappear. <laughs> um, so I went to visit my mother in the nursing home. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> The first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. <laughs> I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. <laughs> oh, whoa. I said, what a 
did your doctor say? She said, my doctor said I have to build up a tolerance. So naturally, I said, well, then I'm your man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, and what's your name? Hello, my name is Lee, and, for obvious reasons, I'm also known as the Lost Voice Guy. Okay, and how long have you lost your voice? I just knew you were going to ask something that I hadn't thought about beforehand. <laughs> so please excuse the awkward silence while I type out my answer. I've been speechless for 37 years. Wow. Tell me why you decided to enter the show this year. I think I entered Britain's Got Talent for the same reason everyone does. To meet Anton Deck. Yay! Yay! This is all going so well up until that point. <laughs> the stage lead is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you may be able to tell, I'm a struggling stand-up comedian who also struggles to stand up. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure how good I am. I'll leave that for you to decide. But, just so you know, if you don't laugh at the disabled guy, you are going to hell. <laughs> When I realized I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. <laughs> I have lived in Newcastle all my life. Yes! But for some reason, I still haven't picked up the accent. <laughs> I can see that some of you are trying to figure out where you know me from. Maybe it would help if I started saying phrases such as the next train to arrive on platform <laughs> 4 is the 1252 <laughs> service to London King's Cross. <laughs> and, from my time at the post office, please go to cashier number 8. <laughs> I got the train here today. I always like to sit in those seats for disabled people. I was about halfway here when another disabled person got on and asked me to move. I didn't realize I'd be playing disabled top trumps when I got on or I would have dressed more special. <laughs> Needless to say I didn't give up my seat. Who cares if he was both blind and deaf? I was there first. It was very awkward. He couldn't see that I was still there. And I couldn't tell him I wasn't moving because I can't speak. Before I leave you, I have one more thing to say. I hate that we have so many, politically, correct words to describe disabled people now. It's all special needs. Special schools, Special Olympics. I don't know what is so special about me. That is why it always alarms me when I hear about Special Forces going to war. You've been a fantastic audience. Goodbye. Welcome to America's Got Talent. I'm a little afraid now. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And <laughs> you are... You are you. What? <laughs> what do you have a name? Tape. You're taped. You're taped. Um, what are you going to be doing? 
you don't know. So, what is this? Maybe we'll, t will we talk after? Maybe. Okay, I love a mystery. Go ahead and do what it is you do. the fact that we don't know who you are <laughs> about you or what you're going to do it was like simple but clever unique funny brilliant Heidi at first I thought you were so creepy but then I really truly loved it Mel? who's gonna go home tonight and try that lady in red thing <laughs> right I know I am that was just genius I agree, and I think your life has changed tonight, and by this time tomorrow, everyone in America, no, no one in America is gonna know your name. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Yes! Sweet talking guy, talking sweet kind of Don't you believe in him if you do, he'll make you cry. You forgot your bra. You forgot your bra. Your bra.
Where are you from? Um, I'm from South Norfolk. What's your day job, Ben? Uh, I, I do this act. OK, I'm not going to ask what it is, because we like surprises. Lush. Uh, tell me why you've entered the show this Lush. year. Well, my, my two little boys, they say, come on, Daddy, you've got to be on Britain's Got Talent. So you've got sons, you've got kids. I've got two children. OK, anything else? Yeah, uh, well, they did have a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I won't go there. All right, Ben, good luck. Thank you ever so much. Well, you see, I think my little stint now is all about uh, me uh, mishearing lyrics in music, see? I mean, it all started when I went to see The Lion King. Anybody see The Lion King? Yeah. Oh, I love The Lion King, but I must have misheard something, right? Because I thought the first song was about the Arsenal Club football manager. <laughs> That's funny. What I did then, right, I had a little thing to myself. I thought, oh, maybe there's other songs, right, that you can hear that you think maybe they're singing something different, right? So I've amalgamated loads and it's just for you. Hit it, Shirley! Come on. Come on. and from Bolton. Come on, let's hear it for Bolton! Do you have a day job, Cash? I do have a day job. I fit automatic doors on hospitals and schools and things like that. Brought anyone with you today? I have, yeah. I brought my significant other. Whoa. Stand up. There she is. So, Cash, what would you do with the cash if you were to win? I'd spend it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best answer we've had. OK, good luck. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, this is a song that's dear to my heart and it's about something that I love. Oh. Is it about his wife? You can have them red chips and gravy. The pastry can be short, crust or flaky. I can hardly wait because they taste so great. But please don't forget the mushy peas. Come on, pasty and peas. Pasty and peas. Well, I don't want to go to the pasty and peas. I've been for your breakfast. I've been for your tea. To satisfy your hunger. Pasty and peas. That's a guarantee. Do you know what a pasty is? You're looking confused. <laughs> oh! Where's the peas? Come on. Pass the peas. Pass the peas. Pass the peas. What's wrong with the pizza? I don't like the peas. I don't like the peas. Who's saying pasty? Not pasty. Come on. Pass the peas. Pass the peas. Satisfy your hunger and that's a guarantee. Thank you. Thank you. Really? 
thought you were singing about pasta. Look, he's got it written on his T-shirt. Look, oh. pasty, pasty. Does that look like ravioli? <laughs> well, it wasn't Bohemian Rhapsody, was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> but I'm not Freddie Mercury. No, you're not. I think you are hilarious. Thank you. Yes. I'm going to say yes. Thank you very much. Now you know he was singing about pasties and not pasties. But well, why? But <laughs> why? Why not? Why not? <laughs> I didn't get it. Right. I have to say no. I thought it was great. I'm saying yes. Thank you. Your fate lies in the hands of Mr. Simon Cow. What we think about this? <laughs> you know what, Cash? You're a bit annoying, but you're very funny. You are three yeses. Yeah! Thank you. I'm annoying. <laughs> I like that. I just like a that. bit. Just a bit annoying. <laughs> it's nice and loud, isn't it? Hello, what's your name? My name's Eugene. All right, do you want to get on with it? I'm here tonight to share with you my passion. Poetry. <laughs> May I present to you my ode to Britain's Got Talent. You'll never make it through, they said. They're bound to choose another. You are a loser. Always were. So I said, thank you, mother. But I am no contortionist. I can't juggle with a ball. I haven't got a friendly pet. I've got no friends at all. <laughs> or I could do some magic. Oh, that much is clear. For when I enter a crowded room, the girls just disappear. <laughs> It doesn't really matter, though, cos I'll try any trick just to get me on the show to tell Piers he's a... <laughs> a genius with his finger on the pulse of popular culture. <laughs> <laughs> I may go through tonight or not, of that I do not know. But at least I can say to my girls that Daddy's given it a go. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm going to hand over to someone who may want to start with a little apology. Piers. <laughs> I'm sorry uh, for buzzing you, uh, because actually that was a very funny act. I thought it was 
very well written, and uh, you made me laugh. It's the first time anyone like you has ever had a standing ovation, so that was pretty remarkable. Thank you very much. Here's yes or no. Uh, I'm going to say yes, Eugene. I'm going to say yes. Eugene, you've got three yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> Hello. How are you, David? How are you, love? How are you? I'm all right, thanks. Please tell us your name. Barbara Nice. Barbara's in strides that nice is in the biscuit, Dave. Oh. <laughs> they are nice, those biscuits, aren't they? They are, love. And is this your day job, or...? Well, I, I jig all over the country, <laughs> and I just like people making fun of life and having a laugh. Uh, excuse me, you look familiar. <laughs> Have we met? I don't think... I don't... OK, I was thinking... Whether well, you come on the show before? No, I've never been never. on a competition. This is your first time. I've never done a competition wow. before. Okay, love. good for you. Yeah. Lovely teeth, by the way. I just thought, <laughs> yeah. I just thought it's about time. And if I could go to the Royal Variety performance, that's a dream come true for me. All right, good luck. Thanks, love. Right, so I'm going to put me bag for life, Dan. I've got about 49 bags for life. I should never die. But who wants to live forever? Not me, I've got no proper pension. <laughs> right, I'm going to take my coat up. I can see the girls, Amanda and Alicia. Nice colour, isn't it, this Mac? It's like an apple green, girls. It's me apple Mac, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. She's living the vida loca. <laughs> hey, come on. Diamonds are forever. <laughs> keep your eye on it, love. You look like you keep a good house. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like a bargain, like I see a lot of you do. <laughs> so this frock, forget DKNY. This frock was CPL, Cats Protection League. <laughs> <laughs> if my husband Ken could see me now, you know, here, auditioning BGT, he'd go mad. He thinks I'm dog city for Jean and Jean in Ebden Bridge, so keep it. <laughs> Mum's the word. You're friendly. That's what I like. I bumped into a very, very good old friend of mine, Unlucky Mary. Come in here. She said, Barbara, I'm in trouble with police. I thought, what's new? I said, well, what's been going on? She said, I've been caught speeding while knitting. I know. <laughs> Apparently, the police said, pull over. <laughs> she said, no, cardigan. We're living in the Vita <laughs> 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 We've got to have a laugh, kids. It's all we've got left. I love her. I love her. And this has cheered me up, this has. I was outside having a bit of fresh air, and I got a text. I'm very sorry, Barbara. Your boiler's broken down. It's awful news, isn't it? But I thought, I'm not going doing that audition. I've got to get the bus, go back home, cos Ken will go to pieces. It's a crisis. <laughs> but you know in life, do you ever think there's signs? Yes. Yeah, right, smashing. There are signs in life. And I looked up at this tree and there was a white carrier bag caught in the branches. And I looked up and I thought, that's 5p up there, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly there was a gust of wind and that carrier bag blew high up, free as a bird. And I thought, Forget about the pig in boiler bag. <laughs> Let it go. That's the cure for the stage dive. So those lads, come down here. Give them a round of applause. I met them in the queue. Down here, kids.
the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. you? David. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Just, don't, don't go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I like your baby. Uh, you're, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. I would like. It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, no, we're no. not. We're not after the watershed. I would like to see David inside his house. Oh, he's never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see if. Rise of Dolphin. Actually, the ladies are attracted to what's inside of a man. Uh, back me up, ladies. If you agree, say yeah. <laughs> Rapidly moving on. Uh, public toilets can't live without them, can't live in them either, uh, because there is no fridge and microwave there. <laughs> <laughs> Often when I use the male toilet, some guys there uh, fart very loud, and I don't like that. So when possible, I sneak into the ladies' toilets instead, uh, because they're much more discreet about it. Well, at least when they know that I am there. <laughs> this is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's that that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey y'all, it's Wally Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I was on a show called America's Got Talent. That's why I know you, Simon. Yeah, I was on America's Got Talent. And uh, who's seen that? Who's seen America's Got Talent? Who's seen me on America's Got Talent? You seen me? Have you seen me? Okay. Who voted for me, though? Who uh, of course you did in London. I lost to a 12-year-old ventriloquist. She didn't open her mouth the whole time. You never know what it feels like losing a million dollars to somebody that still has chores. You'll never know. People ask me all the time, they're like, you still talk to Darcy? I'm like, she's 14, bruh, no. I'm a grown man, what am I gonna do? Hey, Darcy, how was school? Like, no, man. <laughs> Plus, she beat me, so I hate her. Why would I talk to someone I hate? <laughs> Don't hate Darcy, she's an angel. So is the devil, okay? Now. Understand, in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, Y'all not gonna believe this! I got Pinot Grigio! <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio! <laughs> Let's do shots of 
Jim Short and Nate Lestardo Book Club! <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. This Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos Taco. It is just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. Hello, I'm Natalie Cassidy. And today, we're going to be health working out. So everyone put your hands out in front of you, spread your legs, and do some squats. <laughs> Lie down, the baby, on Martin Fowler's sofa. Isn't that right? Dog Cotton would be proud, wouldn't she? It's so nice to be here on my new show. And today's guest is absolutely fantastic. You know what? I'm going to meet her. Hello. Oh, thanks for having me shine the rain. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm really nervous. Oh. And then, oh, I was on uh, going out of the jungle recently. Oh, my God. I mean, I saw those ones. And I was like, whoa. And then, then I saw even more ones. And I was like, whoa. And then they tried to make me eat the ones. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. whoa. And then I was being sick everywhere. And I, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was going to rob us because I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. Why were people so excited about that talking dog on Britain's Got Talent? Amanda Holden's been on it for years. It was really fun meeting Ant and Deck backstage, but I'm never quite sure which one's supposed to be the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's killing us all! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me, I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. I feel like we should get to know each other a bit closer. Please. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My name is uh, Vigo. My name is. Uh, My name is. Uh, My name is. Uh, My name is. Uh, My name is uh,
이거 예 You want to try to? No. Okay. Yes. Yeah. My name is. My name is. My name is Vigo. My name is. My name is Vigo. You are Bruno, the new guy. Yeah. Oh, it's a boy. The new guy. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me. Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. People will tell me I don't look like a Nabil Abdul Rashid. Apparently I look more like a Tyrone. <laughs> or a Marlon, or maybe even a Babatunde, you know, whatever. <laughs> I turned up to a show recently, they wouldn't let me in. I turned up to the group, like, excuse me, you can't be here. This green room is for a Nabil Abdul Shekhab al I'm like, no, it's Abdul Rashid. Yes, that's what I said, Abdul Shish Kebab. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't mean to offend you, but has anyone ever told you that your name sounds a bit hmm? Mm. <laughs> Muslim. I said, yes, that's because I am a Muslim. He said, okay, well, at least tell me what the name means. I said, name Nabil Abdul Rashid basically means that my phone calls are monitored. Now... <laughs> Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. <laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to face the mute, <coughs> the impressions. Actually, doing the, uh, the X Factor guy, all you have to do is, right at the very end, roar like a lion. Simon Carl! <laughs> Thank you, and... <laughs> Here, we can witness a whole plethora of strange and fascinating creatures. That's good. Nice. The obligatory wild pack of street dancers and the balding middle-aged car enthusiast. <laughs> Look at the body on this. <laughs> I love the sexy curves, the exquisite contours, but most importantly, the two big airbags. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. You're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. 
He hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up. That is a rope. What happened to the duct tape? That is the bleach. I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. <laughs> What are the three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility. Uh, yes, uh, charm. Humble. Good looks. Humility. Generous. Uh, I like people. I wear great clothes. I'm funny. Um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch. I'm great to go on holiday with. Um, I like guys. I like girls. I like animals. I know you do. <laughs> going there. David. <laughs> well, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh. <laughs> have you ever been to a bank, right? Because I'm not really happy with the customer services that we get at banks nowadays, right? Have you ever gone into a bank? You've seen four available windows. Four! But there's only one person working. Yes. <laughs> then you get the woman that works there who walks past the queue and says, don't worry, she won't be long. Go and help her! <laughs> Why are you out here? You get to the cashier because it's your turn, right? They've now given the cashiers microphones, yeah? So everybody can hear your financial situation. <laughs> I'm right here, I can hear you, right? And I'm already embarrassed about the amount that I need. So I was discreet, right? I was like... <laughs> can I get £1.50, please? <laughs> That weren't enough for her. She had to talk into the mic and get into my business. Sorry, sir, you need a pound to keep the account open. <laughs> I'm like, why are you shouting? But I told you, I needed the rest of what was in my account. So I said to her, please, can I get that 50 pence? <laughs> she said to me, how do you want that? I was like, in silence. <laughs> it was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world, went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are poly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. When I realized I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. <laughs> I have lived in Newcastle all my life. Yes! But for some reason, I still haven't picked up the accent. 
I can see that some of you are trying to figure out where you know me from. Maybe it would help if I started saying phrases such as, the next train to arrive on platform 4 is the 1252 service to London King's Cross. And, from my time at the post office, please go to cashier number 8. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's going to happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot. I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes the statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> death to us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> Hi, Simon. How are you? Um, you are my family's favorite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel, hello, hello. which one is your favorite and why? Oh. Well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Who? In America? In America, right? yeah. Uh, no, they are. I don't mean that disrespectfully. They just you are. don't mean that disrespectfully? No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> She's thick as pig shit. <laughs> Now he, now he can't be sacked, he'll just say anything he wants. Exactly. James, he wants. I said he'll be out of control now. <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> My Jamaican mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline? Lord, I'm mercy, you fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> you know how that show works? If somebody's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra and baby panties and wear you on a scale and for cattle on national TV. <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> the first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like so nervous and so excited. <laughs> it's like being on the X Factor all over again. <laughs> oh my God, I just love being a celebrity. <laughs> when my agent said I was doing an advert for Iceland, I rushed out to get a woolly hat, a woolly coat, and a passport. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, honeys. 100 cents, definitely. You'll come to Amy Charles' salon in Essex. <laughs> I love Essex, I work in Essex, I live in Essex, it's all about Essex. <laughs> and I can spell Essex, I think. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, well, there's only one pricey. <laughs> You do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? <laughs> yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> what? Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> All right. I will do an impression, yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay. All right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> You are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. No. That's cheap. 
Sheep. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot. <clears throat> Come on! All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, t tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. 